Regions Exam, Algebra 1, August 2016, Problem number 14. A parking garage charges a base rate of 350 for up to 2 hours and an hourly rate for each additional hour. The sign below gives the prices for up to 5 hours of parking. Which linear equation can be used to find x, the additional hourly parking rate? In this problem, we need to determine which linear equation can be used to solve for the hourly rate charged after 2 hours. Notice that the parking garage charges a base rate of 350 for up to 2 hours. So if you stay for an hour less than 2, you will still be charged 350. If you happen to stay beyond 2 hours, then the parking garage will start charging you a parking rate for every hour after 2 hours. We can determine the additional hourly parking rate by taking a look at the prices. The base price for 2 hours is 350 and the price for the third hour is $9. This is a 550 increase from the second to the third hour. The price increase from the third to the fourth hour is also 550. The same price also increases from the fourth to the fifth hour. We now know that the hourly parking rate after the first two hours is 550 per hour. Now we need to determine which of the four linear equations can be used to solve for x where x represents the additional hourly parking rate, in this case, 550. We can determine this by systematically solving for x in each linear equation until we find a match. We can also analyze each of the equations by substituting the known hourly rate, in this case, 550, into the equations and checking to see if the equation results in a true statement. For example, the first option has the linear equation 9 plus 3x equals 20. If x represents the hourly parking rate after the second hour, then 3 times 550 plus 9 should equal 20. But notice that the left side of the equation does not simplify to 20. This results in a false statement. So this equation cannot be our answer. Doing the same for option 2, we see that replacing x with 550 also gives us a false statement. Continuing with the equation of option 3, we see that this equation gives us a true statement. So we can conclude that option 3 is our answer.